What up, everybody? Jason Clinkscales, A Sports Squad. See the site there. Anyway, I decided to give you a little bit of a uh, mini tour right now. My boy, Mr. I'm a real journalist. I'm kidding. General Simon Ryder, Nancy <laughs> News, and my best friend, Stefan Johnson. You see the comments here and there. I say, what up? You say, what up? How you doing? There you go. You see him do this too. Anyway, earlier this year, we went by the new Yankee Stadium, and even though games won't be played for another couple weeks, I want to take y'all by, uh, yeah, it's a great one hard to see this. It used to be Shea Stadium. Look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, we'll be going over by City Field, which you'll see in a moment. So, we're taking a quick do look through here. We'll be going to a game here, you know, when the season starts. I'll let you know when that's going to happen. But for right now, you'll see some videos, you'll see some photos. We'll be talking smack like we usually do. Uh, leave your comments, leave your questions, and uh, we'll go through it. So, see you in a bit. So a lot of things are cordoned off right now, and forgive me, if you haven't been here before, the 7 train is above us, so you might be hearing me speaking loud and a little bit normally. Um, my very first baseball game was Labor Day 1992. Uh, Dallas Strawberries with the Giants at the time, and um, the, uh, Met, uh, the Mets were taking on the San Francisco Giants. And I can remember, there's a bunch of us from my family. We came in here, we had a... New York City school sized water cooler and if you ever seen those big blue bags they're just ginormous we had nothing but fried chicken and sodas and, and whatever else we were able to sneak it all the way up to the top and it was cool just kind of being there even though the stadium was already raggedy by then the stadium was just not even 30 years old but it was a raggedy place it was funny to be there though because from a certain angle we could see our old neighborhood in the Bronx and now just to see that the place is just completely gone. I, I can't get over it. It's been a long time coming at the same time. It's sort of surreal to see that the place that you have one of your first memories is completely gutted, gone, nothing but rubble. All right, so gathering from some of the pictures you've already seen that I put before this, this is the um, seven train side of City Field. It's getting its character a little bit. It's a nice, it's a, who am I kidding? It's a beautiful looking building. Uh, some of the, looks like team employees and people going in for uh, tours. Those people who are going for tours are actually trying to pick out the seats. And actually, I will put up a couple of links to explain what they're doing ticket-wise for this place. They haven't put like a wholesale to expect the entire season just yet, but uh, you'll see the link below this once you're uh, finished checking out this video.
First and foremost, like you were telling me earlier about the difference with the construction stats between here at City Field and with the New Yankee Stadium. I'm not going to hear the freaking New Radicals <laughs> at Yankee Stadium. I don't yeah, think I'm going to hear I noise. I came back from walking around New Yankee Stadium and the, the, the new cathedral, the house that A-Rod built. And construction workers were cursing each other out, acting very serious, yelling at each other. We come over here to City Field and... They were playing the Mighty Mighty Boss Tone. And now they're playing the New Radicals. Very laid back. Very chill, realizing that it's not that serious. It's baseball. We is getting cake, son. We <laughs> gonna be aight. Um, I'm, being a Met fan myself, I'm gonna really love this park. Why is that? Well, other than As I'm taking some team, shots. Let's see. I know it's less seats, but I'm not used to a team I'm rooting for having a new arena or a new stadium. This is the first time I get to experience it. Uh, your, your scribe over here, being a Braves fan, has seen a team with a new field even though he hasn't been there yet, but he will get there soon. You're damn right. <laughs> so I'm very happy about this. Now, as a reporter, I can't wait to get into the new Yankee Stadium and the stadium. Because, you know, we get free shit. Yeah. So, so it, it's great, you know. It, so I can't be angry, but you know, your daily news and post and other reporters find another reason to be angry in the next month or so. So stay tuned, stay happy. Feel a smile. There you go. I just want y'all to listen to this. That's the Mets. Always different. All right, so actually, we were just talking to a couple of fans who were coming by for the uh, first time, I guess, and, you know, we're kind of swapping ballpark stories of uh, not just Shea Stadium or whatever else, but just talking about other places we've been to, which is just a place they should check out. Um, but during that time, we took some pictures out of center field, and uh, here's a few more. It's a quick video. The battery looks like it's going to die, so I'm not going to give you too many more videos at this point, but uh, I'll probably give you some more pictures. Enjoy this.